Welcome to uh, the Heartland Show. We're here in Northwest Illinois. It's opening day, October 1st, and uh, we're super excited to be out hunting today. We're uh, here looking for mainly a birthday buck. He's a buck I've got, well, this will be the third year of history with him. Uh, I think he's a five-year-old buck and he's a big, beautiful, um, big frame 10. So what we got here is there's all good bedding area behind us. We're sitting in a bean field and then behind us is alfalfa. So usually this time of year, the deer are coming out of the bedding and heading through the beans here to get to the alfalfa since that's green. We have high hopes. It's the beginning of the season and we're excited to see what happens. Man, what an awesome opening evening here in Northwest uh, Illinois. We didn't have super high expectations because it's so hot, but uh, birthday buck's been in the area, and so we went in after him tonight and started off really slow. We didn't get uh, really any good movement until about an hour before dark. We had a little six point come out, and, and a few, uh, we had three bucks come out, and David said, Man, it looks like a fourth deer. So we look up and got a closer look and sure enough birthday buck came out maybe 15 minutes before shooting light thought we were gonna get it done he was coming in perfect he got to probably 35 or 40 yards and then he stopped and and uh, he ended up spooking we weren't sure what happened but after looking at the footage he definitely winded us so he must have caught some swirling wind in there and took off which is unfortunate but what a cool encounter for opening evening so we'll go back in there tomorrow night and hopefully he's not too spooked but Exciting times here in Illinois. Can't wait for the season. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail, the Heartland Show. It is October 3rd. And this is Dad and I's first set of the 2021 Iowa archery season. We had a little bit of a cold front come through last night, so the temperatures are a little bit cooler than what they have been. So we're expecting to see some deer movement tonight. Rather than go uh, hunt uh, one of the mature bucks that we got pictures of, we decided to play it safe and come hunt this little clover plot. Um, this particular property, for whatever reason, never really holds up. Uh, mature bucks uh, early in the season for sure so it's a spot that we can come fill in the antlerless tag with uh, doing minimal intrusions 
so that's the plan tonight to sit back here and if it goes anything like uh, years past um, we should be in for a good sit and hopefully we'll get a shot at a dope before the night's over Got her. Man, that feels good to finally get a shot, you know. We, uh, we had that button buck come out earlier, and uh, I looked down here, um, uh, back down here in this bottom by the this creek, and I seen a doe and a, a fawn working their way up to the food plot. And as luck would have it, as soon as I came to full draw, she stopped there and then looked up in the tree. And she worked her way out into the food plot and I was able to get a about a 20 yard shot at her. So I'll give her just a little bit here and then start packing up. I think we just got our first deer 2021. That's awesome. Well, here she is. We got her drug out to the food plot here. Our main objective tonight was to take a doe off this food plot. So what we like to focus on mainly during the early season is to fill some antlerless tags before some of our bucks start uh, showing a little bit more consistency in daylight. And this particular property sets up perfect for that. We got this little clover plot kind of tucked back tight to bedding. And for whatever reason, early season, this property really don't hold any mature bucks. So it's a good spot to come and uh, take a doe without doing uh, too much intrusion. We were able to come in here and first sit, take a nice doe. So it's a good start to the season. Hopefully it just keeps getting better from here. Thanks for watching Midwest Whitetail, the Heartland Show. Emma, what day is it? Opening day, co-time day. Yes. Opening day. All right, well, we are all set up in the blind. Tonight's, you know, other than it just being an opening day, it's exciting because this is the uh, first hunt on the new farm. So Emma's up to bat for the first time. She gets the very first hunt, and my main focus is to get just to get her on a buck. So I plan on spending a lot of my time out here trying to do that with her, you know, and then working myself in when I, when I can. So we are sitting in the, on the west side of the new farm here tonight. Uh, we've got a little buffer clover plot right here, a little buffer lane on this big five acre CRP field behind us. And you know, this spot just makes sense. And we tucked a, a soft shell, as you can see right here on the uh, west side of this little buffer strip. And you know, nice little easy slip in here. And we're just, uh, Emma's buck or bust tonight only. We're not gonna shoot any does just with how hot it is. Emma is just chopping at the bullet to tell you guys something, so here we go. Did you guys know that? 
My daddy has never shot a deer on opening day, and I have. So we talked about this this morning. I've been bow hunting for 20 years, you know. I was telling Emma, I don't think I've ever shot a deer on opening day. I've had tons of opportunities. I actually, a little fun fact, uh, 10 years ago today, I proposed to Sarah. So, you know, just this and a tree stand on opening day. So um, this is kind of a special day for us for a lot of reasons, which is why we like to make it about family, whether it's buggy, 90 degrees out, or whatever it may be. We just, you know, today is about getting out with the family. Gonna settle in, and I'm sure we'll have more to bring you. I don't know if it'll be deer, but we'll have something for you. But looking forward to kicking off another year with you guys. All right, well, it's about getting to be about quarter to six here, so. Um, kind of as expected to this point we haven't seen any deer whether that's due to the 90 degree weather or just all the noise coming out of this blind we're getting into that age where emma's getting pretty active with sports so we've got a really busy october i'll be watching these uh cold fronts and i know brad is intending on hunting quite a bit without me so hopefully he can come up with something to bring you guys but you know we'll just we'll keep an eye on that and play it by ear i guess if you will here appreciate you guys watching heartland show and and it's officially here, we're off and running. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail. It is October 3rd, and it is officially my first hunt of the 21 deer season here in Southeast Iowa. You know, anticipation's always really high at the beginning of the season, this year more than probably ever before. You know, I got a lot of storylines that I've already kind of hinted at on the Heartland Show. Uh, my wife and I purchased in a new farm and then uh, Caleb and I have been talking about this for a little while, but we have uh, really a world-class buck that we've had you know, some history with, and we're trying to make an early season push for him. This property that I'm actually located on, I actually just picked up permission on it for Caleb and I. You know, there's a little strip of trees, you know, type of thing on a big ag field, and actually the ag field out in front of me has already been picked. But uh, it kind of sets up in between two blocks of timber where we're getting that Prodigy 2.0 buck or P2 on camera. And uh, I would say that this is a pretty safe set. I would be uh, pretty shocked if I'm in the game tonight, but you know, if nothing else, this is just a start of putting the pieces of the puzzle together and uh, really kicking off the 21 season. And uh, I, I look forward to here this week, Caleb and I stringing some hunts together to hopefully continue to put together a plan um, so that hopefully we can have some good encounters with that Prodigy 2.0 buck. But there actually are some other deer in this area that uh, I'd be happy to wrap my tag around as well. Feels good to be on a tree, though. Well, there's about 15 minutes of legal shooting line left. And uh, I've still yet to see a deer. Kind of surprising just by the amount of ground that I can see from this tree. But uh, I do think with these warmer temps, you know, we're still looking at that last half an hour really being that bread and butter time. I think I'm going to try to get out tomorrow. Uh, it's pretty similar weather conditions to what we have tonight, kind of low 70s, a little bit breezy, and then calming down right before dark. I do think I got a couple spots kind of mapped out out here that I'd like to try and get this stand. And if nothing else, that'll be a good mission for tomorrow is to kind of come in, tear this set down, and then relocate it to a, a more permanent location. One thing I will say about this spot is it is a really good spot to see raccoons. <laughs> Feels good to be back in the woods, get a little outdoor therapy. Maybe I'll still get a glimpse of him yet tonight. I was telling Caleb that I'll probably cry tears of joy if I see that P2 buck at like 340 yards or something like that. So maybe it'll still happen yet tonight. Welcome to Midwest Whitetail. Today is October 6th and I'm out again on some public land tonight. I am still in the same unit I hunted the opener, but I'm in a different spot. Reason for the change is last time I hunted here, as I was walking out, I was walking through some standing beans and there's probably 15 to 20 deer in it. So I figured this time of year with a little pressure, they're probably still hitting these prominent food sources in daylight. So that's what we're set up tonight. We're over a standing bean field that kind of comes together. I'm in a pinch here. Um, I've hunted this spot a few years on the early part of the season. Um, a few years ago, I had a good encounter uh, with a few different bucks. So one snort wheeze right out of my tree so that was a pretty good experience but hoping we see some mature deer tonight it's overcast conditions feel good I was able to get in here clean so hopefully uh, we start seeing some deer here and have a good good hunt overall
Well, as you can see, we're doing the wrap-up interview in the vehicle here tonight. Um, unfortunately, the rain started and it only got worse. Uh, we got caught in a little downpour there, so can't do a whole lot in that situation. Got to put the camera gear away. Pretty much shut the deer off immediately. I could even see deer leaving the field because it was raining so hard. So disappointing end. The way it started, I was really thinking we had a great chance at seeing some mature bucks. I think we were at 15 to 20 deer with 45 minutes of shooting light left, and usually in those conditions, you hope that one of those mature bucks steps out at the last part of light, but not the case tonight. We're gonna to be out again probably next week, um, probably in that same general area. I'd like to be still hunting there. As you can tell, we saw a lot of deer. I feel like better conditions without that rainstorm might have played out a little differently. So, um, like I said, we'll be out here again next week, but thanks for watching Midwest Whitetail. We're back at it again. It's October 3rd. Uh, we're in it to win it tonight for Henry here. If we don't get on something here tonight, he's uh, out of luck until first uh, first shotgun to use his youth tag. So we're back in the ghillie blind again tonight. Last night, again, uh, we had Wannabe come in and just with his height, he can't shoot down at that angle out of the middle window and that's two times now that that buck has come right dead center of the blind. We'll have some action. It's a little warm today, so we're trying to stay cool right now. We just got all set up. So, anyway, trying to get settled down here. See what we can make happen. Midwest Whitetail. That's a big buck. Well, you might shoot it if we 